bike is loaded, ready to go. You probably guessed it already. Yep, it's Akropovic day. So we are off to PCR Performance in Canock today in UK. This is because I'm going to fit my bike with the Akropovic exhaust, the Evolution Line Titanium, which is the top of the range. So it's a full racing exhaust system. And we're gonna put the bike on the dyno because it needs remapping with this system. And also I want to compare the figures, power, torque. I wanna see how much gain there is compared to the standard bike. Just arrived at PCR Performance. It's raining, which is very strange. It doesn't rain that much in the UK. It's very rare, so yeah, very strange. And it um, doesn't matter because we, we're inside today. Um, we're going to use this time maybe to talk about Akropovic and a bit of history. Akropovic was founded about 30 years ago. It's um, a company that has um, a really high involvement in racing, in bikes, but also in cars. Um, I was really really proud to be part of this history because I won the world title in World Superbike in 2014 with an Akapovic exhaust. I also visited the factory actually following that and that was great. State of the art facility in Slovenia, really nice place. That's it, time to go in now. Fortunately we are inside today so no worries with the rain. We're gonna get in, get warm and the bike is definitely gonna get warm. First of all, we're going to test the bike in completely standard mode. We've got the standard exhaust. Um, I have made no mods yet on the engine for this bike. So we'll test the bike like that and we'll get a reference. After that, we're going to test the Akarpovic Slip on Carbon. So this part is a straight swap. There's basically no need for remapping or anything. Um, just swap it. There is a bit of performance gain and I want to find out exactly uh, what's the difference. There's also a difference in weight and I also want to uh, check how it sounds. We've done the first test with the completely standard bike and the standard exhaust. Now it's really interesting, you see there, this is the fueling, and this is the fueling of the bike, and that red line here is the ideal target. So we're actually, you know, not really close to it. So we've got our standard mapping, we've got our standard fueling here, we've got all our database already that we're going to be able to compare with. We've got our power as well and torque. Andy's been putting the bike through four uh, tests, so um, we've got a good average here to work on. Now it's time to put on the slip on, the Akapovic slip on carbon. So this is a straight swap, no need to remap. We're just gonna put it on. Uh, I'll show you how it looks as well, because it looks really good. And uh, we'll see if there is some differences in the performance. So we're ready, the carbon slip-on from Akapovic is fitted on the bike. Now this carbon is made in-house because Akapovic got their own carbon composite department. With this slip-on we get a 40% weight gain, so it's 1.3 kilos. So what I'm going to do now is with the standard exhaust I'm just going to use that for probably just a little workout, just like that. Um, and we'll keep the slip-on on the bike. The Akapovic carbon slip-on retails at 720 euros. So guys, this is the Akapovic Evolution Line Titanium. Now, this line is the top of the range and this is the racing line. We have this, I mean, this is so light. This is 4.4 kilos. The standard exhaust complete is 10.4, so a six kilo saving. This is absolutely huge. What is it? 60% um, weight saving. And we also got a nice touch here where Akapovic just put my number, my racing number. I'm really happy about this. Can't wait to fit it on the bike and see how well it goes. 
as far as fitting the full Akapovic uh, racing system, there's also modifications that you need to do on the bike. This is the exhaust server for the standard exhaust. This controls um, the valves of the exhaust. This is normally under the seat. So this is more weight that is coming off the bike and this is going to tidy all the, the tail of the bike as well. So Paul, we also have some other parts that are coming off because we're fitting the race exhaust, is yes. that right? Yeah, alongside fitting the, the full race system, uh, as well as mapping the ECU, we need to basically remove and, and block off some of the emission systems that are, are on the bike. Yeah, um, these obviously are, we don't need that now no. because we're going to go on track. So. Exactly, yeah. These yeah. are purely there so that the manufacturers can get the bikes through the sort of stringent tests. That Euro 4 and so exactly, on. Exactly, yeah. yeah. So th this part here, um, we remove this part, so this is called a pair valve system. Yeah. Um, and this basically recirculates a lean burn mix back into the airbox okay. to allow the bike at certain conditions to pass the emissions test that it All right. To. But with removing this and blocking those off, when we map the bike, it gives us full control then of the fuel in. Yeah. And, and there's no outside influences for... Oh, uh, yeah. No, no interference. Exactly. So you have a better ability to just, yeah. just map exactly where you want. Yes. Yeah. 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 Okay. And there's another bit that's coming off there as well. Yes, there is. Yeah, this is uh, an EVAP valve. I love it. We're just saving weight everywhere. This yeah. is awesome. That one's actually uh, yeah, so, uh, much heavier than that one. But oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They all, they all do add up. So what's that one? Again, emissions side of things. Um, yeah. th this came in on the, the Euro 4 that they started putting these on, on bikes. It's all technology that they've used on cars, basically. It's not new to bikes or anything. Yeah. Uh, it's been used on cars for years to try and you know, get them through these yeah, emissions yeah. tests. Again, not needed now that we're, we're doing what we're doing with the, with the bike. So, so again, go. saving weight, saving... Yeah. saving uh, we we want to shift as much stuff as we want for the track because yes. Anything we shift is weight gain. It's a bonus, yeah. yeah, it's a bonus. Okay, yeah. great, really interesting. I could probably send me some lifestyle magazines, which was nice to have a look. It's full of really nice pictures. And um, yeah, I stumbled against this, which was nice. So see, this is the, the exhaust um, from the start of the, co the co collaboration from Suzuki and Akapovic, where you have the straight exhaust out and everything is free there, there's no protection. And then on this picture, we have um, the exhaust that was a little bit longer to add some uh, torque and power. And also you can see the grill there. This was introduced in order to stop any dust or stones going in uh, inside the engine, because obviously in MotoGP, the number of engines is limited for the year and you don't want to lose an engine through the crash. And then now we have the double, ex the double exit exhaust which also has the grille, but it's a, a very different design, which you can see there. So that's it. The Akrapovic Titanium Evolution line is on the bike now. It's almost ready to go back on the dyno. Now, there is a few similarities with MotoGP, and I wanted to talk about that. The first thing that is that the exhaust and the tubes are made of the same, the very same titanium high-grade material. The tubes are also made in-house on the exact same machine and they're also CNC machined to provide the perfect fit and more toughness. Today we were using, with the expertise of PCR Performance, the mapping from Woolwich Racing. Woolwich Racing provides some uh, mappings for standard ECU. Uh, it's a platform that works with uh, a lot of different bikes. And uh, this is what allowed us today, with the know-how of PCR Performance, uh, to remap the bike and suit it better with this brand new exhaust. So that's it for the dyno testing. Today we've uh, experienced with the standard setup, the slip on carbon, and the full Evo line Akapovic system. We're going to be uh, looking at uh, all the results in a debrief that's coming now. Time to speak about numbers. 
So I've received all the data from PCI Performance from our full day on the dyno, and I've also printed the data from the ecapove.com website. So this website is actually really good. You can actually go and have a look as well, choose your bike, and then you can choose your exhaust. And there's all sorts of data there of um, what you might expect um, with whichever exhaust you, you choose. So um, gains in power, torque, weight, um, so I wanted to compare all that as well with the findings that we had today on the dyno. Right, so this is the report that I got from PCI Performance. So let me try to explain to you what's going on here. Uh, first of all, the um, power, you would not notice here, the, the maximum powers are quite low. This is because the power was measured at the rear wheel, not at the crank. And also, um, I was told by Andy that did um, the runs today on the dyno, that uh, because I was using quite a softish race tire, this also make the numbers look a bit low. If we were to run the bike with like a hard rod tire, it would be a bit higher. But anyway, here it's, it's not relevant. It doesn't matter because, because we did the test with the same configuration, the same tire, the, the results are still relevant. But I just wanted to mention that because, yeah, I, I thought they were low higher, but it was because of that. So what is going on on this graph? We have here the, the, the power. So this is the, the maximum power going up through the revs. So the further we go to the right, the more, the more revs. And we have here the torque figures, uh, foot pound of torque. There we go. And then underneath there, we have the actual mapping, the, the air fuel uh, ratio. So this dotted red line here is the target, the ideal target. And if we are underneath that target, it means that the, um, uh, the bike is too, running too rich. So this means that there's too much fuel for, and not enough air. And if we're running at the top here, it's because the bike is too lean. So if the curve go at the top of that dotted line, the bike is too lean, too much air, not enough fuel. And ideally, we want to be like, really close to that line all the way through the revs. Now the colors, so in red, this is the completely standard bike, standard exhaust, everything. In light blue, this is the standard exhaust, but with the carbon slip-on from Akapovic, the road legal one. In dark blue, it is the evolution line titanium, so the full race system, but unmapped. So just as it, as it is, without uh, touching the, uh, the, the air fuel ratio. And in green, finally, is the race system, so the evolution line titanium, for Makapovic with the remapping. So after quite a lot of work, there was about two hours there spent by Andy on the dyno uh, remapping everything. So the results now, the figures, we're gonna check if they match uh, the claims for Makapovic. So first of all, the slip on, um, it is road legal. So we're not gonna see a massive improvement there. Um, they claim that we have a maximum torque of plus 1.1 at six, 250 RPM, uh, which is about there, and it's a, this, this is what it is. I mean, we have, it's probably a bit more actually here, so we have a bit more torque in the low revs at TL 7.5, then it's quite similar, and then there's a bit, there's a bit more torque all the way. Power-wise, same thing here, those low ranges, more, bit more power, a few horsepower, and then at the top as well, a little bit more power. Not a huge difference, but this is uh, to be expected. Um, it's, a, it's a road legal system, so it's got to conform to um, all the regulations. And uh, yeah, I mean, mainly you, you gain, a, basically you gain a bit of power and mainly it looks a lot better. And now the piece of resistance, the Akapovic Evolution Line Titanium. So you can see the, I mean, the powers, the power gains are huge and it's all the way through the revs as well. It's not just at the top here, you know, at 13, 13 and a bit is the, is the maximum power, but all the way we've got a huge difference in power, uh, especially here in the mid range actually. And it's the same for the torques. So the claimed figures by Akapovic on their website is that we gain a maximum of 10.6 horsepower at 9,000 RPM. So 9,000 is there. So it's that line there and we got the figures there. Now in today, in our test, we had one, two, five, three, one with the road system. So completely standard. And we got one, four, one, zero, seven with the race exhaust. So this is a huge gain. This is f more than 15 brake horsepower. So here actually, um, Akapovic have underclaimed by quite a lot. We, they claim 10, we've gained 15 horsepower. So a huge difference here in the mid range. And at the top, we still have quite a big difference where we've got the figures here. So maximum figures, 18660 with the um, race system. 
and 170. So we've got the, we've got about 10 horse, just over 10 pa uh, horsepower here at the top, but we got 15 in the mid range. So big difference for power. I am now going to swap the page so we can compare the torque figures, the claimed and the measured one from today. Well, just like the power figures, the torque figures are you know a big improvement as well. I mean, this is a big gap, big gap, and all the way through the revs. Just again, just like the same as the um, the power. So this on track, you know, this results power and torque like that. This will make a big difference. The bike will feel much more full, you know, much more um, full of power, full of torque. It'll be much quicker, basically. Now the claimed figures by Akapovic there is an improvement, a maximum improvement of 6.7 pound foot of torque at 7,600 RPM, which is there where I've put that line. And what we have today from the result from today is 69.12 for the standard exhaust and 78.70 for um, the uh, Evolution line titanium, the, the racing system. So this is actually a bigger improvement than what is claimed again, 9.58 improvement versus 6.7. So by, qu by quite a lot as well. So, you know, this is nice to see as well. It's nice to, I mean, you'd expect the manufacturers sometime to, you know, overrate a bit their result or their possibilities. And actually here for power and for torque, uh, maximum figures, we've um, we've actually find bigger improvement than what is claimed by Akaprovic. So um, this is nice to see, and I certainly can't wait to try it on track. Last but not least, this increase in power and torque comes at a price. The Evolution Line Titanium retails at 2,010 euros. Right, that's it for today. I hope that you enjoyed this video and I'll see you soon, guys.